The last couple of weeks have been a lot. We've all been forced to make really severe changes to our daily routines, all in the effort to slow down a contagion. But I'm here to tell you that our efforts around the world have resulted in some other really good things happening. That's this week's Heather's Weather Wise. Social distancing, self-quarantining, whatever you want to call it, it's meant no more commuting to work, no more going out for dinner, no more just driving around and hanging out outside for the heck of it. And sure, that's turned all of our lives upside down literally overnight, but there's evidence that it's working and we are indeed flattening the curve. But guess what? Following those orders to stay home is also minimizing our carbon footprint, and there's evidence all over the world that the atmosphere is starting to respond in a really positive way. Check out this special satellite image from the European Space Agency. It's a heat map of nitrogen dioxide in the lower part of the atmosphere, one of the most dangerous pollutants we can breathe, and it's mostly produced by burning fossil fuels through driving and other transportation. Pay attention to the area of red over northern Italy. That's from mid-February. Now here's early March. That's incredible. Researchers at Stanford have also been looking at China's air quality. Here's a satellite image from NASA over Wuhan, China. Once again, nitrogen dioxide levels plummeted by 50% during the country's lockdown. Researchers estimate that 50,000 to 75,000 premature deaths may have been prevented just from these air quality improvements. Not only is air with less nitrogen dioxide easier to breathe, it looks a lot nicer too. That's because NO2 is the main chemical ingredient in smog. Similar impacts are likely here in the US, especially in our major cities where pollution is a big problem. But here's the thing, once we get back to regular life, and we will get back to it, pollution levels would shoot right back up. That is, unless we take a couple of environmental lessons away from all of this, and enact some long-term, more livable changes going forward. That's it for this week's Heather's Weather Wise. I'll see you next week with a new topic, but until then, remember, even from home, it's good to be a geek.